Welcome to Southwestern College's online library. In this video, we will be finding articles using the library's online databases. Don't be intimidated by the word database. We use databases all the time, such as when we search Google. A database is just a place where data is stored, and the library purchases access to databases for good, credible information. A list of all the library's databases are located under the link Articles and Databases. When we click on this link, there is a long list of databases that are available to all currently enrolled students. The best part about all these databases is that students can access them from off campus, anytime, anywhere, as long as you have internet access. To access databases from off campus, you'll need to input your web advisor ID and your birthday. For now, we're gonna focus on one of my favorite databases, Academic Search Premier. This database provides articles on just about any subject you can imagine. And it has newspaper, magazines, and even academic journal articles. When we click on the link for Academic Search Premier, there's a search box at the very top. There are also lots of options below that you can use to modify your search, but for the most part, I keep it simple and start by just searching for my topic in this top box. Let's pretend we're doing a research paper on global warming. If we wanted to search for information on this topic, we could just type in global warming and then hit the search button. As you can see, we're getting quite a lot of results. Probably too many. So before I even look at the articles, I usually will refine my results first. The left hand side of the page features all the different ways that we can shrink the number of articles that are appearing. One of the most useful ways to refine your search is to make sure that you click the full text button. This will ensure that every article you get will provide the complete article and not just an abstract, which to define it is just a simple summary of the article. We can also limit um, the date range as well. And so this is gonna be great for assignments where you need to do something in the last 10 years or so. We can also limit the type of articles we want from academic journals, magazines, or newspapers. Let's just look at just academic journals for now. Now we have much fewer results than when we started. Let's take a look at the titles of the articles. It's important to make sure that you can understand what the articles are saying from the title before spending too much time trying to read the full text. This says role of North Pacific mixed layer in the response of SST annual cycle to global warming. That is not completely intuitive to me. I don't know what SST annual cycle means, so I might skip this article and look for one that makes more sense. Uh, in addition to the title, there's other things as well, such as the publication information. This tells you the author or authors as well as um, the place where it was published and the year it was published and all of the good information that you need. If we click on a title, we can look at all of the details about an article. For instance, robust warming pattern of global subtropical oceans and its mechanism. Remember when I mentioned the abstract? It's a good idea to read it now and make sure this article is related to what we're researching. So this says the subsurface ocean response to anthropogenic climate forcing remains poorly characterized. That again is another case where it might be more complex than what we are ready to take on um, at this particular point in our research. Um, it, but if everything did look good, you're gonna wanna continue and read the article. To do this, you can click on the left where it says PDF full text. And this is what it looks like when that happens. You'll be able to scroll up and down and see the full text of the article. But if you want to read it later, you can actually email the article to yourself. I actually highly recommend this option because it doesn't slow you down from researching and then you always have the full text of the article available in your email. In addition, when you do email the article, you can select the citation style you want. So if we look over here to the right where it says email, we click on it. Um, you can choose the citation format, and I'm going to leave it as MLA, but you'll notice there's lots of other styles that are available. And we just have to pop in our email. So library at southwestern at swc 
cd.edu. And now we can send ourselves the email. Um, you will get an email confirmation that lets you know that this went to the email you requested. Now you should be able to get started with finding articles for your own research. To learn more about finding articles, check out our advanced video for finding articles. And remember, librarians are here to help. We offer a 24-7 Ask a Librarian chat service through our website. You can also reach us by telephone at 619-482-6397 or through text telephone at 619-482-6490. We are also available through email at library at swccd.edu. Thank you for watching.